New York City is still overwhelmed by the ongoing migrant crisis. Mayor Eric Adams trying to find housing for the thousands of migrants. He suggests putting them in churches and private homes. Police say a migrant hit a hotel worker with a no parking sign after getting kicked out for unruly behavior. And that's not the city's only crisis. A new drug themed vending machine giving out free crack pipes and Narcan. Uh, Narcan, by the way, is, you know, to produce um, a drug that will prevent an overdose. So, like, you know, you could do all the drugs you want, but take Narcan and we're going to give it to you for free. Uh, it was cleaned out in just one day, by the way. Drug users have mixed reactions, however. One says they should restock quickly. <laughs> Another complaining that the crack pipes are too thin. They aren't the only ones who are unhappy. Brooklyn residents want the machine gone. Mm. Crack pipe vending machine in your neighborhood. How do you feel about that? A uh, crack vending machine? Are you serious? It promotes more abuse, more misuse, and uh, it doesn't help the people. Do you think your neighborhood's going to get safer? No, I don't think so. That's crack. Eric Adams put this vending machine out there. What do you want to tell him? Take back. That's, that's all. That's it. I love uh, it. I basically <laughs> would say the exact same thing. <laughs> um, an op-ed warns giving out free crack pipes is government-assisted suicide. Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor and host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation, joins me now. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard a democratic city do in all my years. It's we already yeah. have a crime problem, so let's add to it and make accessing crack pipes easier. Yeah, what? it's only going to get worse, right? It keeps, there's nothing that, that gets better. This is beyond assisted suicide. It's an abandonment of their constituents. This is they would rather assist you to become a zombie with its you can use meth in that pipe, the crack, whatever you want to do, and it normalizes that behavior. It says, okay, we're gonna help you along. So we've had people go to jail for for like on texting or like encouraging someone to commit suicide or not stopping them to commit suicide or talking them into it a little bit. What is this? What is this? The same dynamic. So you've got neighborhoods. This, there's a, a high overdose rate in this neighborhood. Instead of being against the immigration crisis, right, wanting just to close that border because that's where the drugs are coming in, the, the dynamic of people being so hopeless that the overdoses have increased, you might reflect on what it is you've done with your policy. And it's not just New York. This is going, this is a you look to L.A., San Francisco, and New York for, for policy tests. Yeah. This is what they planned for the country, normalizing a slow suicide, normalizing it with policy, not addressing why people are doing this. This is based on... You know, it's no cops, it's crime, yeah. it's no hope, it's horrible. Mayor Adams, shame on you. You are making it even more difficult to be an NYPD officer in this city. Uh -huh. Our crime is through the roof. And one of the things that a lot of our homeless and de mentally deranged mm -hmm. citizens mm -hmm. that are committing crimes and being let back out onto the streets mm -hmm. is illegal drugs. And they, okay? they are, and, they and the need cops, help. You're, they're, you're giving drugs, basically, Those to very the very same people. Our, their lives are being ruined in this dynamic because they're not getting the help they need. So you've got people who are the victims, innocent victims, the people whose lives are spiraling down. And the next thing is, by the way, they're saying, we think maybe syringes for the other, other machines. Syringes. And you only need a zip code. This is not paying. You put in a zip code, you push the number you want like you're getting a Twix, and then it comes down. That's why overnight it was emptied. Imagine, you can be 12... 15, you go up there, punch in there, you get, you get a syringe. Uh, it is madness. I this mean, of course the illegal immigrants are going to want to come into New York City. Well, I mean, we're supposed to be providing city. a deterrent, okay? Now he's l leaning on churches. Would you want to go to church on Sunday if you knew that all these illegals carrying syringes and Narcan and crack pipes are going to be? I mean, but hypothetically speaking, that's where they would seek and shelter. The they hotels, need a place to right. seek this shelter. This hotel story is a very good example. Violent individuals destroying the rooms, assaulting, as you noted, a, a staff. What do you think is going to happen to the church workers or to the neighbors? Or bring them into your private home. That sounds like a genius yeah. plan. Uh, you, let's say you've got a condo, which we, everybody has. So nobody's got a freestanding right. home. And you've got and you, the person across from you has become the, the federal, the New York City Airbnb. And, and they've got, you know, what yeah. do you think is going to happen? And I'm in not that saying that migrants are necessarily carrying syringes. Here's what I'm saying people are crossing to the border. Title 42 is gone. So they're going to look at our country and say, hey, I've got a drug problem. Where should I go? New York City. 
And, beyond, and then we're going to so we're going to provide you with your drug paraphernalia and shelter. And beyond the migrants, for free. beyond the migrants, which create right. more chaos, who don't know where to turn or what's going on. Of course, then the actual criminals yeah, right. and drug dealers Sorry. taking advantage of that. As if the cops don't have a hard enough job. He just made it harder. Well, Tammy New Yorkers Bruce, stand up. You. Everybody deserves better. New yeah. Yorkers, Los Angelinos, people in Dallas, yeah. Phoenix, everybody. Okay. Well, you deserve better. All right. I'm hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.